All right, child's pose, it's 10 o'clock. Just finding your self melted on the mat, rolling your forehead. Welcoming in the day. Finding your intention, bringing in peace, seeing your body just glowing, abounding with health, wellness, mindfulness, immune system, just thriving. So a few breaths here. And then just come up and drag your fingers up, bring your knees together, seated on your heels. Roll your shoulders up and around. I can grab my phone so I can look at my clock. And then reverse. Let's go ahead and bring our fingers out. Spider fingers, feel the energy and the opening in your shoulders, flip your hands up and reach up. Press your shoulders down, reach some more. And then release your hands and just go ahead and twist here. Straightening on the inhale, twisting on the exhale. Come back around, fingers reach out, flip, scooping up, reach, press the shoulders down, release the hands, twisting, nice easy twist and rock pose. Coming back around, let's just do a little neck exercise. Drop your chin to your chest, and then lift your chin up. Don't crunch back, though. Lift the chest up, chin up, lengthen the neck, and then down. Let the shoulders continue opening wide. Lift the chin up, reach up, and down. And then just roll in the front from shoulder to shoulder, half circle here in the front. And then continuing, you can do half to the back and around and across. If you want to roll completely, that's your choice. Just be careful not to crunch the back of your head. And then just coming to stillness here, we can place our hands on our knees and just come forward in rock pose with some spinal flex here. little different, we usually do this in seated. Starting a little different here. So take it as slow or as fast as you like. And then coming to stillness, let's move into saddle. So if you have a block, use it, a blanket, whatever you need, but just gently lowering in. If you wanna lift up and pull your calves out, just sitting in here, reaching out with your hands, open your shoulders, lengthen, taking nice big breaths, just feeling, the knees, get some movement in this direction. You wanna to try to gently lower back, this little wiggling. Maybe you do some twist as you lower. Maybe you come down on your forearms. 
Lifting the chest, opening the shoulder. Just a few breaths here, waking the body up. And then coming back up, come forward into tabletop. So shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, find this nice flat back, open your fingers, feel the pressure evenly, and just start some C curves, organic movement, whatever you feel, turning your hips around, moving the shoulders up and back, wake up the body. And then move into some cats and cows. You want to tuck your toes under some for cow. Keep the navel energized throughout this. Really exhale for cat, pressing up. <sighs> Make the breath audible. And then back into tabletop and just take the right leg and place it under the left and sniff back. Kind of wiggle in so you're seated on the ground, opening the hips. Spider fingers, reach out. Just sink in, take a few breaths here. Maybe you're walking your fingers over to the left, feeling this nice side stretch in your ribs, giving the digestive organs some room. And then sweep around to the other side, exploring the different degrees that we can stretch our body, finding out what's tight today, what needs to get the kinks worked out, then come back again to the front, just melt in here for a breath. Then gently coming up, bring that leg up. If you want to lift it up in the sky, maybe bring it to your nose and come back down, just kind of working through those hips. This time, take the other leg, the left leg behind the right, sinking in on that side, wiggling in, finding that place where you get the nice hip stretch, melting in here for a couple of breaths before we sweep our hands. <sighs> then sweep the hands over to the left. Same thing this side, just exploring how to open up more, how to release tension, stretching out muscles. Sweep to the center, readjust, realign, then to the right side. Asking yourself where you are in this pose. Where's your body? What's holding tension? Finding a way to release it. With the breath, sweeping forward. Nice full breath here again. Neutralizing the side stretches. Any wiggling you want to do. Next inhale, come back around. Bring that leg through. If you want to inhale up, maybe bring it to the nose. Come back down, wiggle it out. Let's go ahead and tuck our toes under and come up, sinking in, toe stretch here. Make sure you got the pinkies in, just sinking. Take a nice breath. You want to bring your hands in prayer to remind yourself of your intention. Maybe it reminds yourself to bring your breath in deeply as we bring these poses in. It brings the body awareness. Then bring your hands forward, lifting the toes and tap them out. Now stretch out the right foot. Again, the toes should feel nice and loose. Bring the left hand forward, reaching, square the hips, really reach. Then fire up the glutes in the leg, like you're placing a weight on that back thigh, just under the glute. Fire everything up and slowly lift that leg. 
really squeeze and stretch square hips maybe point and flex the foot stretch active really fire those glutes so strong glutes protect your back bend your leg reach back slowly with control lift up lift chest up maybe you look back at your foot see if you can lift a little more keep the core keep the navel keep the hips straight feel the power of the hand and the mat balancing with the foot one more breath here slowly with control reach out stretch and then five crunches here exhale shh, elbow to knee and hold it then bring the leg out to the side lifting up hold it now five taps one with that leg with that foot two three four five hold it and then gently lower the foot down pressing up with the hands inhale right hand over stretch and gateway reach stretch open the shoulders maybe the fingertips touch the floor maybe they're on your hips tuck your hips in reach then come back over other hand reach is over tuck the hips open the ribs and then windmill over for side plank opening up here anything you want to do lifting the leg Bending, holding the foot, however you want. Take that right foot over, plant it down, and dip. Five, four, three, two, one. And then bring that hand down, twist around, come into play. Holding plank, feel yourself, your feet, your hands, straight, grounded, shoulders over wrists, core engaged, do two push-ups here, one, two, and bring your knees down for tabletop, and you're wiggling, and you're rolling around, oh good, finally got warm, I've been cold all morning, you want to do a couple of little cats and cows again here, before we work on the other side, next breath, bring that left foot back, toes back, press. Really feel the energy in that leg, in those glutes, reach out with the right hand, place that imaginary weight just on your thigh, right under your glutes, lift up, squeeze, flex and point, Alexa, stop. Sorry. <laughs> and reach back and hold the foot. Sometimes she just starts talking. Look back, lift up. And release straight. Just flex and point. And then those crunches. Five. Shh. Four, three, two, one. Hold it and then bring it out. Put that leg up, hold it, and tap. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it and then lower for gateway on the side. Inhale. Left arm comes all the way around. Like I said, you can touch your fingers on the floor, reach, stretch, touch your hips in. See how straight you can be. Full line. Then come up around the other way. And stretch, reach. And then windmill over for side plank or modified side plank here. Holding, same thing, this side, anything you want to do for balance, challenge, it's your body, it's your day. 
Then take that left foot, place it in front, and do five dips. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold it. And then come around in plank, holding here, straight body, shoulders over wrists. Come down on your forearms. Holding here in forearm plank. Really fire up the core. And we're going to do five knee touches on the right. Knee to elbow, then five on the left. Begin. Five. Right side, four. Three. Two. One. Left side, five. Four. Three. Two. One. Hold it. And then lower all the way down in Sphinx. Since our hands are already here, lifting up the chest, taking breath, bringing oxygen into your body. Just being here in this pose, opening heart. And then lower down on one cheek, hands to the side. Gonna move into locust on the next breath. Inhale, come up. Locust is one of the classes I have in Asheville and one of the teachers, she's really amazing, a physical therapist, and she just thinks that locust is almost the perfect pose for anything and anyone, so. I find that I want to always keep locus in here. Next exhale, come down, resting on the other cheek. And inhale, come up. If you want to swim, we don't have snow, we have rain, we have wind, so you can swim or fly. <laughs> you just can't snow ski. And if you want to hold it in super woman, hold here for three breaths, lift, reach, and then lower down crocodile, bring your feet up, and just windshield wiper from side to side. Then oh. reach back, maybe see if you can hold your feet. Stay here, or inhale and bring it up for bow. You want to rock? Just take it wherever you want. And then exhale, lower down. Crocodile again. Windshield wiper. And then lower, leg down, hands by your chest. Press up in Cobra, hold it, elbows to your side, feel the activation, arms, chest, a lot of core, then press back, up on our knees, going to do another back bend here, we should be kind of warm, going to move into a deeper one, camel, hands on, yoga pockets, Jennifer would say, press those elbows back, Roll the shoulders forward. So you want to roll the shoulders forward, press the elbows together, then lift the chest up and release back. Don't crunch your neck. So feel the neck extending as you lower back. Press the hips and thighs forward. A lot going on here. Breathe, keep the navel active. Core protects the back. Couple more breaths here. Next inhale, come up with control, with core. Maybe you want to tuck your toes under, reach back, or leave your feet flat. Reach back and see if you can touch your heels. Or go lower on your leg. Find where you want to be. Lift the chest up. Press the hips forward, thighs forward, release back. Extend the neck as you lower, 
protecting the back of the neck in circle. Press the hips. Constant body scanning. You don't check this off your list. You constantly process. How can I honor this pose? Where is my body? What am I feeling? One more breath. With control, with core, gently coming up slowly. Yeah. And then gently sinking back down, finding your way into child's pose or a counter pose for a few breaths. Gently sliding into Balasana. Maybe massaging your forehead, bringing that parasympathetic nervous system back into your practice. Just melting one more full breath cycle here. And then gently coming up, sliding your hands, bring your knees together, tabletop. Then tuck your toes under, press back, feel the power of your hands, acknowledging the strength in your body, your hands. Nice inhale, and then hips come up, exhaling, downward facing dog, walk it out. Let's go ahead and inhale, right leg up for three-legged dog, just warming up legs this way. Just breathing into this, pressing back with the hands, lifting up. Lots of oxygen, that left leg needs it, up and down, widening. This deserve between the feet, and then bend and stack. Stacking your hips, shoulders, continue to stay square. Roll the ankle, lift up more. Keep that core. And then bring that leg back up, enjoy more space here. Nice inhale. Exhale, wave it forward. Maybe you take a chaturanga here. Vinyasa. Come back down into downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up. Same thing here. Just take a breath. Warm up where you are before you extend it more. Lots of oxygen. Those muscles need that. Opening up here. Stay pressing in with the hands open. Bend, stack. Flex your foot around. Open up more. And then bring that leg back up. Really stretch here. And then wave forward and come into Chaturanga Vinyasa. Up dog, down dog. Walk it out. Ah. Let's go ahead and do some of uh, the drops here from downward facing dog, dropping down and coming up, dropping elbows down and coming up. Let's do that five more times. And then just holding in downward facing dog, we're gonna move into my favorite of the five Tibetans. So this honors the upper and lower triangles of the chakra system moving through up dog and down dog. So inhale slowly with control coming through up dog. You can stay on your toes or you can release your feet and come back up. When you start moving faster, exhale down dog. You may want to just stay on your toes, yogi's choice. Let's do 11. Sets up and down, begin. Inhale, up, high, exhale, down. Let's hear your big breaths. Keep the core, protect the back. Pressing back. And let's just inhale from downward facing dog, right leg up. And 
bring it forward for warrior one feet. Inhale, come up. Warrior one, sink in. Straighten the arms, bring the arms by the ears straight, shoulders pressed down, lot of core, square the hips. Feel the power in your feet on the mat. Maybe bring in that back bend, your back's warm. Maybe release the hands here and clasp. Open up more into a back bend. See where you are lower. Make sure the knee's talking to the pinky. Scan your body. Inhaling here. Exhale, humble warrior. Lift those arms up. If that's available, sink in more. If your body's wanting that, rinsing the shoulders more. Just explore this pose with your body. Keep the core. Three breaths. Lowering the clasp hands. When you reach your back, unclasp. Hinge forward, stay in the hinge, reach. Reach, then flip your hands and come up with glutes, with control, with core, yeah. Nice big inhale, reaching up, exhale, take a vinyasa. Walk out your down dog, we'll meet there. Inhale, left leg all the way up, and then bring it forward. Warrior one, left side, spider fingers, you on your feet. It's really tree frogging into the mat. Inhale, reach forward, hinge, reach. Feel your lips opening, feel your body square, reach, flip. Come up with glutes, active muscles, feet powered on the mat, reaching up, square hips, glutes are just. The booty is working, let's just say that. Okay, exhale, hands clasp, open the shoulders, back bend, touch the clasp again, slide down the back of the thigh, looking up, feeling connected with God. Exhale, come forward, humbling the warrior, finding the balance between the power of knowing who we are with the humility of who we are, and the gratitude. Exhale, releasing those hands down, unclasping, scoop back up. The gratitude brings blessings. Nice big inhale, reaching, exhale, take a vinyasa, plant your hands, or just go back and down dog. We'll meet there. Inhaling, looking at your hands on your exhale, walk, step, float, whatever you want to do. Coming to the front. Inhaling, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Reaching up, hands in prayer, perhaps coming through into Tadasana. Keeping with that gratitude, staying with the breath. Eyes closed, returning to intention. Nice big inhale, we've got to reach up. Exhale, sink in the chair, go low. Tuck the hips in, reaching. See how low you can go, tucking your hips, body scan. And then inhale, come up, release your hands. Open up to Dasana, one breath. Inhale, come up, sinking in the chair again. Hanging out here. Now bring your hands in prayer. Readjust, tucking hips, where are your knees? Inhale, exhale, twist to the right. So you've got options here, depending on what you feel like doing. You can open up, you can drop to a side crow. Holding one, one breath, one full breath cycle here, again. And then finding some balance, really anchoring in that right foot as you lift the left and come back into crescent lunge. So we're twisted crescent, 
taking your time. If your balance is rocking any of the poses that are balanced, just take your time and enjoy it. All days are different. So enjoy it when you have the balance happening. If you want to open here, open, stretch, bring that breath in between the shoulders, really opening. And then coming back around and sweep up in crescent and sink in here, finding balance here. And go ahead and dip five times. Fire up your glutes. Four. Three, smiling, two, yeah, one, and come up, and exhale, come down, and just wiggle that foot back and come into runner's lunge. So just enjoying this here, and if you want to come up, placing your hands on your thighs, you feel be pushing the opposite ways, come into a low crescent, basic inhale, exhale, bring your hands down, bring the knee down this time, and splits prep. Take your time working through whatever degrees exploring. So we always get in a hurry to want to go back and stretch and forward and stretch, but there's a lot of stuff that happens along the way that we can really serve the highest purpose to our pose by exploring that and working out those little degrees. Next inhale, slowly moving through forward. We're moving into dragon, so you'll wiggle that foot over to the side and lower into dragon, low flying, winged, yogi's choice. And breathe here. <coughs> Next inhale, come up, wiggle that foot in, tuck that back toe under, lift the knee, and then bring that leg all the way up and bring it forward. Come up on your tippy toes to your nose, crunch in. Come on. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, cross it all the way over to the left elbow. Hold it for two breaths. Two long counts for me. Then bring it back up. Open wide. Bring it to the right elbow. We're going to go toward pigeon. Let it slide slowly down the wrist. Find your prop. If you need it, and pigeon sinking in. Spider fingers, open the chest, looking up. Bring back that gratitude, that intention. Inhale, cascade down three times. Stay looking up, lowering down to the floor. Then your head comes down, chin to chest, come up for the second. Let's do three. And then come up, shoulders back, smiling. Thank God. Thanking yourself for showing up on your mat for your practice. Now melting in to pigeon. Next inhale, gently come out of this. Just really make sure your hips are square, you've got your core. Come up straight, reach out with the left hand. Following the fingers all the way up and around, tapping or reaching back, stretching or bringing the foot up, moving toward mermaid, your version, wherever you are with this. Now reach out with the right hand. Reach and then Scooping up and around wherever you are, perhaps you meet and lock for mermaid. Open up the chest, the shoulders. Two breaths here, wherever you are. 
and then gently, slowly, releasing hands and feet with control. Coming down, looking back at that backhand, watching it come around like the sun rises and sets. So wiggling, throwing the prop on the other side, tuck those left toes in, bring up that leg like a wing with control, with core, inhale, all the way up, pressing back. And let's bend and stack here. One more thing for the side. Really open up and flip if you like. But do it syrupy. So letting that left foot slide around as you teeter totter balance the left and the right foot. And then lowering, open all the way up. Lift the hips, maybe look at the right hand. One more full breath here. And then the same way you came into it, try to honor that coming out. <sighs> Inhale, bring that leg all the way up. And bring it down, walk it out. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale, walk, step or jump forward. <sighs> Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, bring it all the way up. Utkatasa, the chair, sink in. Yes. Lower. And then let's come up back into Dadasana. <sighs> Reconnecting with intention, with the mindfulness in our practice. Next inhale, reach up, sink down. <sighs> chair pose again. Hands come to chest. Inhaling, preparing to twist on the left side on the exhale. Twist. Where are the knees? Ooh, my back popped. Maybe you're looking out. Maybe you open up here. You did a side crow, go for it. On the side, yogi's choice. One more breath. This time, inhaling right foot up and come back into crescent, taking your time. Twisted crescent, open up here if you like. And come back around, sweeping up for crescent on this side. Oh, it's hard to figure out the angles for the camera, what works best, but I think this is good. On the left side, so dip on the right. Two, right knee, three, four, five, hold it. Come up. And then lower your hands down, wiggling into your low lunge, your runner's lunge on the left side. Come up, hands on thighs. Really, really feel the glutes fired up the legs both ways. Inhale, sink in. A lot of control, a lot of power here. Nice inhale. And then come down, hands to mat, low of the knee. Flat, flat foot. And just exploring Panamanasana. Have splits. Half Panamanasana. Finding those degrees. A couple more breaths and splits up. And then moving forward, wiggling that foot to the edge, finding your dragon. Fly it low, wing it. What do you feel like today? Next inhale, come on up, wiggle that foot in, tuck those back toes, Inhale, bring that foot up. Ah. Now come up on your toes, bring your knee to your nose, crunch in. Exhale. Inhale, bring it all the way up. 
Now crunch that knee over to the right elbow, cross body. Hold it. Then bring it up. Open. Now bring it to the left elbow as slow as you want. Moving into pigeon. Let it slide. Then wiggling that foot back. Getting your prop. Finding yourself squarely balanced on the mat. Slide your fingers. Inhale. Lift up. Ah, my intention. Finding peace. Engaging the parasympathetic nervous system. Exhale down. Inhale. Chin to chest up. Exhale down. One more time. Bring it again and then come forward. And melt. Melting into pigeon on the left side. Next inhale comes up and preparing for wherever you are with mermaid, reaching out with the white hand. Inhale, follow the fingers back, meeting the back leg, wiggling in, hitting your elbow crease or wherever you are, then reach out with the left hand, finding balance, finding energetic alignment. Inhale, come up around, meeting that hand, you're waving at it and finding your version of this pose. Next, exhale, gently unclasp or move toward releasing. Put hand down, looking back, welcoming the right hand back around as the sunset. Move the prop, tuck the toe in, lift that wing up with energy, fire up the muscles, inhale, bring that leg up, lower the heel. Now just bend and stack, opening up and then preparing to flip, to do it slow, syrupy, lifting up, open the chest, maybe waving. And when you're ready, come back around. Bring your foot slow around. Inhale, foot up. Exhale, down. Walk it out. Let's inhale, right leg up all the way. Bring it to your nose, knee to nose. Wave the shoulders over the wrist. Bring that right foot down. Left foot perpendicular, preparing for warrior two on the right side. So inhale and windmill, left hand up first, tucking your hips in, finding alignment, and then right hand out, sinking in to your warrior two. Releasing the back hand, flipping the front, finding your reverse warrior, peaceful. Where are your hips? Are you feeling the expansion in the ribs for the digestive system? Third chakra, fire it up. That's releasing the fear, sink in. Exhale, come forward. Extended side angle, reaching. Once you reach, body scan, hips tucked in. So think the alignment of triangle, right? Reach, maybe lowering the hand down to the floor, reach. Maybe bringing the hand around, making a couple of circles one way, and then the next. Finding a bind, perhaps, or just playing with another aspect of this pose. Feel free to move into bird if you want some balance. Otherwise, just take a couple of breaths here.
and then release your hands. Let's windmill back up into warrior two. Straighten the right leg and the adjustment you want to make for triangle. So just coming forward and back. Just finding comfort in the degrees that we begin to lower for triangle. A lot of core. When you're ready, reach forward, reach, reach, reach. Then with core lowering, open the shoulders, create space, and lungs bring the oxygen in as you lower. Perhaps you reach these fingers to the big toe. Just finding where this pose takes you in a healthy way, healthy challenge. And then bring your hand down. If you need to wiggle any adjustment. And let's revolve our triangle. So feel free to take a block, especially at first, as you warm into this. Left hand on the outside. Right hand to right hip. Just warm into this. And then reach up with the right hand and revolve. You feel warm enough, you can move the block. Just listen to your body. And then on your exhale, release your hands down, sit back, take a vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Inhaling left leg up, really step, reach. Stretch, bring the knee to the nose, wave those shoulders over the wrists, hold it, squeeze it, place the hands in the center, the foot in the center of the hands. Foot goes back, warrior two feet. Inhale, let the right hand come up first, waving through, bringing out the left. For your two, left side. Sink in, find your pose. Connect in your power. Release the back hand with the front, useful warrior. Open up here. Exhale, come into extended side angle. Shoot across with the right hand. Reach, open up those ribs, tuck your hips. Really feel this pose, feel the power. Releasing that left hand down, cross stretch one more time and then bring the hand up. And then do a couple of circles each side. And reverse. So playing here, finding a bind or a bind in a bird, whatever, going back into your shell, beach balling, just what is your body calling for? Couple of breaths here, wherever you are. And then next inhale, coming up, finding warrior two again. Straightening the right leg, readjusting, and that slipping on the carpet for a triangle, and then warming up on this side. Just a little front and back two or three times with core. Just telling your body it's okay. This is good, bringing your breath in. Not jumping and rushing into anything, then slowly reaching forward. Make sure your hips are tucked under. And then lower that left hand down as the right comes up. Readjusting, scanning the body, and then you can reach if you like. Peace with your big toes. Don't lose the integrity of the pose. One more breath here. And then lowering that right hand down. Any micro bending of, bending of the knee is good. Any adjustment. Taking the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Left hand on hips. Preparing to open up. Just finding whatever aspect of this you need to work through. Listen to your body. Revolve triangle. Your balance is still in super. You can try to look at your hand. Yogi's choice, that's tough. <laughs> and then exhale, bring that hand down. Walk around to the center. And just hang here and wide legged forward fold. <sighs> Maybe picture frame your face here. Maybe walk your fingers back and play with balance. You want to open up your legs more. Reaching out for your toes, for your feet. 
maybe holding and lowering torso down more. Then place the left hand in the center and inhale, reach up with the right stretch, open up the chest. Nice big breath, ah, exhale. And then lowering the torso, reaching over for the right foot with the left hand and see how close you can come to kissing the knee. Just breathe here. And then sweep the hand to the center, right hand plants in the center, left hand inhale up, straight arm reach, open the chest. And then exhale, let that right hand sweep over, torso coming low, close to the left leg. So you can kiss the knee, you can come close, one side's always different. Micro bending, listen to your body. Nice big inhale, exhale, sweep back forward. You want to play with some skandhasanas or anything else you want to do here. You want to take a headstand and tripod. Just play for a few breaths here. Taking whatever challenge you need. Hands on hips for skandhasana. Or on the floor. Playing with the foot to the side and up. A couple more breaths. We'll meet back in wide-legged forward fold, hands on hips. Nice big inhale, hinge though, hinge forward, pressing the shoulders back. Really feel the muscles wrapping around the spine as you stretch forward and inhale. Bring it up, slightly bent knees. Go ahead and just wiggle your feet in together a little more. Just a nice little noodle twist. This feels good. It's very good for the parasympathetic nurse. Oh, maybe just a little shake it out, jump back and forth, and then bring the hands up, feet preparing for goddess. So exhale, sink in low. Try to get those legs in 90 degree angles, then come up and reach. And sink low. Now bring the heels up and stay up on the toes and reach up. Fire up those glutes and those thighs and the core. Really feel this activation all the way up and down. You get what you give, right? Sink in, ha, ah, jazz hands. And then maybe lower one heel and then the other and the other, don't lose the core. The other, then both up, sink lower. And then come all the way up, reach, squeeze those glutes and thighs and then sink down. Come in, adjusting your feet from a loss in a squat. Come into prayer, reach up. Inhale, exhale, the loss in a squat. A few breaths here. If you want to try crow or crane, after a couple of breaths, settling in, sinking, then go ahead and go for that. Otherwise, just hang out in the lasana for a little while. If you're trying crane or crow, Reaching forward with fingers, lifting the knees on the biceps or under the arm, hips, triceps. A couple more breaths. And lower all the way down onto the mat. Preparing for boat, so knees together close together. You can find a little space. Just listen to your body reaching out. Maybe lift one foot in preparation and the other foot. Then both. Holding here in boat. Maybe you want to put your hands behind your thighs. Come up even more. Feel the activation in your chest and upper body. Reach up. A couple of breaths here. Lower into the canoe. Chest up, we want to reinforce good posture. Inhale, boat. Exhale, canoe, ha. Ah. Inhale, boat. Do this three more times. Exhale, canoe. Inhale, boat. Now take the right leg over the left. Squeeze in the knees. Feel the muscles in the upper body all across the chest, really activated. Inhale, bring it up. One breath. Left foot over right. Bring that in, hold it, squeeze. Really fire up this 
arms, the chest, and now bring it back up. And then on your own count, lower all the way down to the mat. Once you're down, inhale, take a nice big stretch, flex and point your feet, and then drag the feet up, sliding them up the mat, bring them to the outer edges, open up your arms wide, and do some windshield wipers, knees one way, head the other. Inhale up, exhale down, a meditation of breath and movement, and relaxation. Then bringing your knees back up, going into the closing cycle here. Let's find a bridge perhaps. Feel free to make it supported or both. Grazing fingertips on heels, wiggling shoulder blades in, chest up. Don't move your head, keep looking up. So in bridge, you wanna lift your hips up, maybe clasp your hands behind you, wiggle more. Hold it. Maybe three breaths here. You can always lower, do it again. Maybe two or three times. And then the next pose will be, feel free to do wheel by the way. It can be shoulder stand, plow, deaf man's pose. You move into shoulder stand, spring those hips up, walk those hands down. Straightening body, don't move the head. Once you have this, gracefully, you can try to come into plow, lowering the toes, breathing, exploring the degrees of this pose. And then you can sink the knees down by the ears. Coming out of shoulder stand, out of plow, back into shoulder stand. And when you're ready, one vertebrae, vertebra at a time, lowering down on the mat, bringing the knees into the chest, rocking from side to side. And then maybe grabbing the outside edges of the feet for happy baby, Ananda Balasana, blissful child. Just enjoy this nice massage on your spine and happy baby. Pressing the knees close to the mat, feel the spine just rolled out on the mat. Knees come closer. Big inhale and exhale, just stretch it out again. Point and flex the feet, reaching up with the hands. Let's just tighten the body, really, really tighten it up. Squeeze the fists, fire up the glutes, the thighs, the core, everything. Squeeze, 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 and then ah, melt. Maybe the toes come in and touch and let them plug out. So finding the complete understanding of total relaxation from extreme tense to complete melting. Take one big, nice, active breath in. Exhale, ha, mouth open all the way. Then closing your eyes, finding your natural breath cycle, meeting Shavasana. Feeling the awareness, return back to the body as you take a nice big breath re-entering the day. You feel the tingling in your fingers and toes as you embrace small movements. 
Next inhale, hands reach all the way up, stretching again, legs the other way, opposite stretches. Bring in the breath, exhale, bring in the knees, hugging yourself, giving yourself love, rocking again from side to side, and then finding fetal position on your side of choice for one full breath. Gently placing your hands, pressing your body up slowly, supporting yourself from Shavasana to meet me in easy seated, Anjali Mudra in prayer. I want to thank you all for joining me this beautiful Friday on this very special weekend. I'm sending you all love and light and peace and gratitude. Let's inhale hands all the way up, scooping air and energy up, reaching up to God and thanks. Exhale, hands to forehead in peace, Om Shanti. Hands to heart center, always may the light in each one of us honor the light in the other. Namaste.